somewhere in Southeast Asia lives a guy named Oliver. He seems a little strange, but deep down he is a real psycho, and in order not to completely lose his mind, he takes pills. Every day the boy has a video conference with his mother, who makes his son do terrible things, bring women into the house, rape, kill, and then dispose of the corpses. One day in the park, Oliver meets a beautiful girl, Sophia, in whom he begins to see salvation from his mother and all this horror. Hello everyone, this is Director of Hollywood. Today I'm going to tell you about the movie Who's Watching Oliver. Spin her around. Mm. I want to see her asshole. Oliver, a humble and shy young man who has moved from the USA to Thailand. After taking his medication and plugging in his laptop, he became involved with his oppressive mother, who controls his every move. Although the woman was happy to see Oliver, she noticed that his style of dress did not meet her expectations and asked him to correct himself by the next video call. The next morning, Oliver began his independent life, away from his mother. He became more pedantic and meticulous about his appearance, shining his shoes and choosing a perfectly pressed shirt to go out for a walk. At one point, he noticed a cat on his doorstep and tried to chase it away, but soon regretted it, as he wished he could feed the animal and take care of it. Later, despite his shyness, Oliver went for a walk with his old camera to explore his new city. He was particularly drawn to the amusement park, where he admired the lives of others while sitting on a bench. In the evening, Oliver went to a nearby bar, where he looked at the beautiful girls with interest. Noticing a lonely tattooed beauty drinking, he thought through a plan of approach, but was rebuffed. Despite this, he invited her to his home, offering illegal substances. The girl agrees to spend time and have a little fun to cheer herself up. When she arrives at Oliver's house, she gets what she expects, and she manages to take the powder. Suddenly she realizes that the guy has tricked her. It turns out that the shy nerd is a real psychopath, and instead of a fun evening, the girl is in for a real nightmare. After contacting his mother, Oliver deliberately drugged the girl and tied her to a table. The boy's mother likes to watch other people suffer and makes her son take advantage of the defenseless girl. Having done his dirty work, Oliver kills the unfortunate girl with a knife, thus pleasing his distraught mother. Finishing the conversation, the woman asked her son to be more restrained, so that next time the spectacle would not be so fleeting. After the video call with his mother, Oliver apologizes to the girl, even though she no longer cares. He is forced to do all this because his mother forces him and holds him in an iron grip. The boy has long wanted to stop committing crimes, but he can't stand up to the elderly woman. Later, Oliver gets rid of the evidence by washing blood off the floor and walls. In the bathroom, he uses a saw and other homemade tools to get rid of the girl's body, then takes the packages out to the backyard and dumps them in a barrel of acid. The next day is no different, except that Oliver now has a cat to take care of. After a walk around town, the guy heads to the park and sits on the same bench he always does. At one point, he catches the attention of a girl walking nearby, and she decides to introduce herself to the shy, bespectacled boy. She tells him about her dreams, and she manages to captivate Oliver with her unconventional story. In spite of this, he sticks to his usual routine and leaves without saying goodbye to the stranger. Upon returning home, Oliver undresses, takes pills, and turns to his mother to comfort her ego. However, she is tired and out of sorts today, so their conversation is brief. To finally get rid of the evidence, Oliver takes the last girl's bones out of the barrel and puts them in bags, which he then drowns in the nearby river. Later, he paints pictures that distract him from his dirty business. Remembering his difficult childhood, Oliver tells the cat that his parents were real monsters. One day his father set him on fire and his mother saved him by killing her husband. From that moment on, he owes his life to his mother and cannot disobey her, even if he has to become a monster like her. The next morning, Oliver meets the charming stranger again and learns that her name is Sophia. She again tells him about her dreams and shows interest in him. She doesn't like his hair, so Sophia muses Oliver's hair to make him look less miserable and sad. Back home, the boy decides to talk to his mother and ask her about the dreams, but the irritated woman sends him away and ends the conversation prematurely. 
The next date with Sophia begins with the girl giving Oliver a beautiful bracelet. In love and intoxicated by the girl's beauty, Oliver is willing to do anything for her. Breaking his own rules, he spends time with Sophia, riding a catamaran and other rides. It was a wonderful date, during which Oliver realizes that he no longer wants to kill girls and is ready to start a new life. In the evening, he rehearses a dialogue with his mother in front of a mirror in which he is going to talk about his feelings and renounce violence. Shortly thereafter, Oliver contacts his mother and is immediately confronted with her aggressive reaction to what is happening. The mother is annoyed by her son's hair, the bracelet on his arm, and the fact that he is still dressed. The woman is completely focused on Oliver and, in the absence of the girls, makes him engage in masturbation in front of the camera. Not enjoying herself enough, the mother forces her son to go in search of some Asian girl and gives him a few hours to solve the problem. Oliver can't resist the overbearing woman and finds an easy-going girl with the right looks. He shows his mother the naked girl, after which he performs his dirty work for her amusement. During the next meeting Sophia notices that Oliver is in a bad mood and looks downcast. She starts a conversation with the boy, and he confesses that his mother is very controlling of his life and he is tired of it. Sophia understands what a misery it is to have creepy parents, since she herself grew up in a cult and her life was controlled. Her family still tries to control her life, but Sophia longs for independence and wants to be there for Oliver. Oliver feels that he is not worthy of such a pretty girl and runs away, not realizing that Sophia is watching him. Later that evening, Oliver is a little late for a video call and forgets to take his pills. He talks to his mother and confesses that he has fallen in love with Sophia and no longer wants to kill. The mother resents this statement because she believes that Oliver only wants her. She is sure that Sophia will run away from him if she finds out that Oliver is a psychopath and a murderer. The mother regains control of her son, forcing him to bring home the girl he loves and kill her in front of her. Oliver agrees and rushes to the nearest bar to find a woman whom he introduces as Sophia. Here he experiences a hallucination and realizes that he cannot communicate normally with women, so he pulls out a wad of dollar bills. One of the female visitors falls for the money and agrees to escort him home, unaware of what awaits her. After pretending that the first woman he meets is Sophia, Oliver begins to lose control of reality due to not taking his medication. At one point, he attacks the woman with a knife and, after talking to her mother, puts the wounded stranger out of her misery. The next day, Oliver and Sophia meet again in the park. Oliver was in a bad mood when Sophia told him about her last dream in which he was with another woman. He denied it, and Sophia agreed with him, for she had been following him all night the previous day. She first wanted to kill them both when she saw him in the arms of another woman, but when Oliver decided to destroy her body, Sophia was even happy about it. She has no fear of what her boyfriend does and is willing to accept him for who he is because she can't imagine her life without him. Besides, Sophia knows how family can control his life and understands Oliver's difficult situation. After another date, Oliver decides to change his life and stops returning his mother's calls. The next morning, he goes to meet Sophia in the park, but she does not come. He continues to wait for her all week, but Sophia doesn't show up for the date. This causes him to become depressed and feel betrayed. Eventually, he contacts his mother to tell her that Sophia has left him. His mother reminds him that she is his only relative who loves him and will always be there for him. After that, Oliver starts dating girls, whom he then kills in front of his mother to please her. One such day Sophia shows up on his doorstep. Sophia has no fear of the guy in the bloody apron with the saw, because she loves him and wants to be near him. Sophia is missing because of her relatives, but she was able to escape because love overcomes all obstacles. Oliver's mother observes this and demands to kill the girl, but Oliver disobeys her and closes the laptop, ending the video call. Later, the couple makes love next to the murdered girl's body. All goes well, but after a while Oliver runs out of pills. During another seizure, he calls his mother and submits to her. He becomes obsessed again and takes a knife, killing his beloved Sophia. That's all for today. Subscribe and like it if you want more videos like this.